It is no gain saying that agriculture is the bedrock of Nigerian economy. This statement is consequent upon the fact that it contributes a large quota in the country's GDP. However, to sustain this feat, it is important to encourage the youth in agribusiness. In order to facilitate the youth involvement in agriculture, IITA Youth Agripreneur was established in 2012. These units to a large extent have produced the expected result as it has fostered active participation of youth in agribusiness. In furtherance of this laudable effort, the IITA Youth Agripreneurs recently concluded an intensive 10 day training on agribusiness for over 30 youth from Calabra sponsored by one of the arms of government in Cross River State. Honorable Koyo Toyo, the member representing Calabra Odupani constituency in the Federal House of Representatives. I discovered that about the agripreneur project in IIT. I and mean, she became fascinated and said, you should come here. And she want them trained, she want them empowered. On top of this, she's good. She's not, she doesn't want them to only learn. She has, uh, there's a farm settlement which anyone already that shows interest will go into and they will be empowered financially as well. That they will become employers of labor, of labor instead of looking for a job. We are trying to teach them how to go about the modern day practices of mechanized farming, how to grow your maize effectively and have a good yield. For instance, maize, I'm trying to take them out to produce maize. If you learn the technique and you learn it perfectly, you can realize seven hectares, six hectares of maize in one hectare. Unlike a traditional way of doing it, that you in one hectare you have less than one ton. So it's a business. Maize is a cash crop. They've learned one or two things. Most of them are testifying that the training has been well conducted and I'm very happy to be part of the team that let's put this together. Through this youth-to-youth -youth approach model, the participants believe there is a place for youth in agribusiness. My perception in agriculture was I thought um, that it was meant for those people that are retired um, from work and they now go to the agricultural sector. But for now, I know that I can, as a youth, I can, with the knowledge I've gotten, I can be able to start something on my own. I have now come to see that agriculture is a real business. So that you can go into agriculture and make cool money from it. Agriculture is a strategic aspect of every human life. And um, marketing also is as important as anything. You see, no matter how good a product is, without the application of marketing principles, such effort might be thwarted. So that is why I personally decide to get involved in agriculture and probably to see how the modern marketing principles, philosophy and orientation can be applied towards making agriculture a viable sector. We've learned a whole lot. Like I said, I don't have the whole, the whole time to start explaining and all of that. But when we go back, what we've learned, will be, we'll try to practicalize it and move agriculture to the next level in our constituency. That is our primary purpose. This has really exposed me to so many things even my university didn't offer. And I really, really thank the, the, uh, the, the consulting firm that really brought us to IITA and even the facilitators of the program. I say a big thank you to them. And most especially, Honorable Nkoyotsoyo for giving me this opportunity to stand here and to stand firm in agriculture and hold agriculture strong. And I'm so proud of being here. I'm actually from a agricultural background. I studied genetics and biotechnology, but being here has really afforded me the opportunity to do more of practical learning some things which I really read theoretically. I did not have access to it. Before now, I only knew the normal conventional process of breeding, but now I've been able to learn about the macro propagation methods which you could use to multiply plants rapidly. What I learned is so much and I've learned not just agriculture, I've also gotten the inspiration to go into the labor market 
to empower other people, other young agricultural entrepreneurs. We can call them agripreneurs. Personally, I take interest in cassava because there are a lot of varieties and with high quality, uh, uh, high quality cassava flour, I think because that's where mine as an animal person too, I intend we can diversify from my stash, high quality flour, then even the, nothing will be wasted because I can still use the, the, uh, the residue from the cassava to feed my livestock. Now, it is believed that with the trading received, participants will see a day to go into agribusiness rather than waiting for the provision of white collar jobs by the government. They seemed very enthusiastic, they wanted to learn, they are very eager to learn, they are very proactive. So I can say, since they are 33, let's say a range of 5 to 10 youths, so I can say in all, that will be like 33 times 10, packing 10 others, and then going back to train their own rural farmers in Calabar to be more, um, to practice better in agriculture or agribusiness. With the kind of orientation we've given them, with the kind of training we've given them, we believe they are already a potential agripreneur. And they are going back home to replicate everything they've seen here, everything they've done here in their local government over there. Now that they have been trained, they will go back to their various constituencies and impart the knowledge on other youth. That is, they now become trainer of trainers, training other youth in agriculture. Because without agriculture, we are going nowhere. No farmer, no future. I want to tell the youth that they can actually do something good for themselves by coming into agricultural world where they will be self-independent rather than going involving themselves in vices that will not benefit the society. Mm -hmm.